events. In uh, about August of 2006, we found out that our then partner in the heavy duty big board business, Cummins, had decided to take a different path with regard to emissions technology. Well, that gave Navistar a significant dilemma. Should we abort EGR and go with Cummins, or should we go it alone? We really had four options. We could go with Cummins and SCR. We could develop our 15 liter engine from scratch. We could find a partner in Europe or somewhere to develop a 15 liter engine, or we could find a North American solution. Well, we chose what we thought was the best possible solution out of all of the above, and we chose the CAT C15 as a foundation for the, what is now the Max Force 15 engine. This is an engine that frankly nobody disputes. Proven performance, there are over 1.2 million engines with the same block, crank, and rods in service today with over 500 billion miles on major components, on the major components of that engine. So two years ago, some of you remember in 2009, we demonstrated what was then the first running version. It wasn't a prototype. How can you call an engine with 500 billion miles on it a prototype? It was the first version of then what was going to become the Max Force 15. It was a combination of a Caterpillar proven block and hardware and Navistar's fuel, air, and EGR and electronics. Well, for the past two years, our engineering group has been refining and fine-tuning that design. They have not been designing and testing a new engine. They have been fine-tuning the components of two already proven products. That allowed us a short development time, virtually unheard of anywhere in this industry, in industry, this industry at any time in history. But the big question is, and I'm sure in your mind the big question is, why would we develop a 15-liter engine at all? As Jack said today, the 13 liter is doing extremely well. It was specifically designed for on-highway applications. It's over 50% of the Class 8 market and growing. Why would we even bother to develop a 15 liter engine? It's real simple. We have customers in Canada, we have customers in the United States, in certain applications who, who just, their applications just demand an extreme engine with extreme power in the most severe applications. So, over the last two years, what we knew was this. The Max Force 13 gave us the flexibility to go to the extreme with the Max Force 15. No compromises, absolutely no shortcuts. We could take this engine to the extreme for the most extreme operating parameters anywhere in the world. We had a proven block, proven crank, rods, cam, head. We redesigned the head, the piston, and the combustion bowl. And that, my friends, was the secret sauce for where we are with advanced EGR. We had Max Force 13 sequential turbochargers, high pressure common rail fuel systems, our newly designed advanced EGR system, and a newly designed compression brake that achieves today best in class performance at 600 horsepower braking effort. We had Max Force 13 engine controllers and electronics. And today we have an engine that develops between 435 and 550 horsepower, 1550 to 1850 foot-pounds of torque, with multi-torque ratings available in highway applications, the most rugged 15-liter engine in the market today.